This is the Todd Shapiro Show on Canada Talks, Sirius XM 167. I want to connect with everybody. And if you're a radio show host and if you have a podcast and that should be your goal. First and foremost, you shouldn't just come out there and talk about the fluff in the world because the fluff is everywhere and the fluff being, you know, what you'll see on the traditional news and the traditional media. I want to try and connect with people and open up their minds. And the struggle with opening up people's minds is having themselves go and do something a little bit differently than they would normally do. Meaning, oh my goodness, uh, my Facebook page is uh, surrounded by everyone I know and everyone agrees with every opinion because I can get the likes and then those likes will translate into me feeling good because I made a difference today. And the problem with me, and my mom reminded me of this actually, my whole life, I've always been questioning people. I questioned authority. I questioned teachers. You know, I wasn't an easy child. I'm not going to lie. Uh, and, and I'm sort of proud of that now. I wasn't always proud of that. And I was always insecure by it. If anything, going like, why don't I fit in? And because I never found one group that, that resonated with me. I found all groups resonating with me, meaning pieces of those groups. And this is the theme of this program. And my point being is it's hard. It really is. It's hard to garner the audience that you want because we're not just saying everything that they want to hear. So what I want you to do is to open up your minds to all topics, whether it's the impeachment process going on right now, whether it's, uh, you know, the, they call it even the, the cannabis sector that we speak of and the entrepreneurial sector, uh, and, and sort of question in your own due diligence what is right or what is wrong and not just because someone told you what was right or what was wrong. And, and this Don Cherry thing isn't going away. That's the big hot topic. And, and, you know, it's really interesting because, and I won't say who said it, but when Jeff Samet had Don Cherry on, the, on his program that we've replayed twice on the show, and everyone knows the Don, story, uh, Don Cherry story now, I sent him a, a, a sort of an email, mass email saying, great job, Jeff. That was unreal. Uh, you know, f- finding that delicate balance of doing this show. And, and we got a kind of reply email in there that said, you know, isn't it great? This, uh, you, you did great. Amazing for the news story of the day. This one is not the news story of the day. This one isn't going away, people. Uh, you people. See? Oh, my goodness. All of a sudden, I'm a dick now. It, this, this, is, this is about understanding that there's an individual here who maybe or maybe not, depending on how you look at it, made a mistake. And he even admitted in the Jeff Salmon interview that he made a mistake. So how now, and this is the bigger issue and why this one isn't going away because they're going, wait a second. This guy hasn't sent Jews to Nazi camps. This guy hasn't, enslaved Africans. And I know I'm using extremes and don't get me wrong here. I don't like to use extremes. I'm using the extreme. What's that? I was Hello? trying to be low key and tell you I have J Paul in the dough early. If you need him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get, we can get to J Paul in a moment. Sorry, dude. When you're talking to my mirror in the middle of a middle of a, a, a big speech here, it throws me off. Yeah, sorry, I tried to space. The only it out. reason why I use these extremes is because this is what Twitter is using. These aren't these. Are, I'm I'm paraphrasing the words of Twitter, and it's a dangerous society we live in. And listen to me, folks, because I'm right here. I am. I'm actually right. We're living in a very dangerous society right now, where we pile on and we use extremes. Because, and I said this on yesterday's show, and I'm going to reiterate it. This applies to you. This applies to you too. And you may think it doesn't right now, but every single thing you do on social media and every single post that you laugh at and feed your ego with right away is tracked. And it's replicating who now people think you are. You might be a little bit different in real life, but I got news for you. Your social media post on the real line, online, is what people will remember you for. So you might be left-leaning and totally against the right. I got news for you. 
you're a 24 year old guy you're working in advertising right now you're making 60 grand a year you're representing three million dollars worth of clients and ad spends and they give you an expense budget so you're feeling good because you're taking people out for great dinners and you're being able to wine and dine people to get their business and then say you got their business or you're out there in the oil fields and you're working your balls off and we respect that immensely but you're kind of chirping people now online going i don't believe in what that guy's people find that and people see that and where you're at now my point being whatever job you are whatever side you represent one day you might lose that job one day you might sadly go for a, uh, through a divorce so now you gotta look for alternative revenue streams in your life or a new revenue stream if you lost your job and finding a new job you don't think that someone's going to research what you've done and said online. You don't think that someone is going to now have the very same approach to how they look at you. And I don't care what side you have defended, but if you defended it with profanities, with harshness, with mean-spirited tones, with even direct bullying against someone else, you think your boss, who, by the way, might lean right, or might lean left is going to look at you as a potential candidate to take that position. They're not going to, I mean, you might strike, you might strike gold and, and actually tweet out exactly how they feel, but this is something that's not being talked about. And I'm going to say it here on this program. <laughs> I'm going to say it carefully. In my opinion, there, there is still sort of on, on the corporate side of things, there is still a more right-leaning push here. And I'm not talking right-leaning, oh, we got to get Mexicans out, or oh, my goodness, we believe in protecting the the whiteies. It's none of that, dude. It's it's, it's dollars. It comes down to dollars and cents, folks. And I understand business very well, and I used to be very humble about this, but I understand business very well. People protect dollars. And why do I say maybe then corporates would be a little more right-leaning, even though their left-leaning messages might be put out there? Because they want to protect their taxes. That's all they want to do. They want to protect their tax dollars. So what happens? Okay, uh, usually right-leaning governments are saying, hey, we're going to cut taxes to the elite and not have you give out as much to the left or even to you know, the green parties of the world or the NDP parties of the world who want to give tax breaks and create socialism for everybody. We're, we all live in a kumbaya land of chocolate and roses and get these breaks and get these minimum salaries and we're all fine and taking care of everybody. And that is beautiful in thought. That is a utopian, wonderful, glorious thought, but will never happen. So my point being is careful what you say, because if you want to work in any sort of space that has a company that are might be putting out one message, but behind the scenes, they're looking out for their bottom line. And taxes contribute immensely to the difference of a bottom line. Profitability in a capitalistic world, you might get effed because you might not be saying what they want you to say. So you never know when that's going to come back to bite in the ass. So while we throw people under the bus... And we're so quick to say, they're this, they're that, they're everything on every side. Remember what Todd Shapiro told you. As harsh as this lesson seems to, seems to resonate, because all of a sudden it, it makes me, uh, it groups me. Oh, Todd's this, Todd said that. No, 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 no. I'm looking out for everybody. Stop being so hard on people. Stop having scapegoats for everybody on whatever differing opinion they have than you. Because the only person that's going to get burned by this, if you attack someone on a very harsh level, is yourself. There is such thing as karma, folks. It will come back to bite you in the ass. And this might be the most important. You know, it's funny. As I'm saying this, I'm going, this should be a TED Talk. I'm like, it's a Todd Talk. This is unreal. I got to write this down. I'm going to transcribe this. This might be the most important message anyone's ever said to you right now. Be careful what you say about people. Be careful you bring other down people. And if you want to debate him and you want to call him out on things and you want to do it cordially and with facts, we encourage that. That's wonderful. That's what's taught. But if you want to bring him down with accusatory statements, discriminatory statements, profanity, 
Yeah, it might seem great because the mob's supporting you right now. <laughs> the mob. Because you support the, the mob because they're there in your corner? Huh. Until it's not in their best interests? The mob you don't even know? Who will throw you under that bus just as quick as they're throwing someone under the bus today? It's hard enough to trust our inner circle. It's hard enough to trust our families. It's hard enough to trust our partners. And that sounds terrible to say. Your partner? Yeah, I love my partner. I married them till death to his part. Okay, what about the divorce rates? Yeah, that worked out well because no partner's ever cheated on another partner. I am bringing to the cold, hard truths of life, the cold, hard facts of life. Be careful. That's my message to all of you. Be careful. Think of this as a marathon, not a sprint. And the sprint may satisfy you tomorrow. And it may even satisfy you right now because you get instant gratification if that one thing strikes a chord. But it might not be in your best interest in the long run. This is the Todd Shapiro Show on Canada Talks, Sirius XM 167.